hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i just want to make a quick video well it might not be quick but i really wanted to get on here and address the whole danny lay situation so for y'all who don't know um the baby's girlfriend danny lay or lee i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but she recently made a video on triller called yellow bone that's what he want and it's basically um just a corny ass song um that's offbeat that's just basically uplifting praising women that have lighter complexions now what threw me off is when because she used the term yellow bone and everybody knows in the black community that's what we, we use to refer to you know a female that's extremely light-skinned um you know yellow bone red bone what threw me off is when I found out that she's not even black, she's Hispanic. So technically, she can't consider herself light-skinned because she ain't even black. But that's a whole nother video. I really just want to get into the whole, like, why it was an issue. Because when she posted that, she got dragged. Like, people were pissed. And, of course, she tried to defend herself with some lame-ass excuse, talking about, oh, well brown and dark skinned girls um make songs or, or, and what'd she say she basically something about um i'm light skinned and i should be able to praise my light skinned baddies or some stupid bullshit and i watched it and i just rolled my eyes like oh here we go we got another one and see this is the issue and I partly, well, okay, I blame two people. I blame the media and I blame black men. I blame the media first because the media is known for pushing that whole light skin is better agenda. And I know it's, it stems from slavery, the whole house slave versus field slave. And if you were in the house, if you were light skin, you were in the house, you were closer to master. If you were dark skin, you were in the field and, you know but they all got treated like shit so nobody was better than anybody but they instilled that in our in our brains like the lighter skin was closer to white so it was obviously better but it's not because we were getting raped and you know we, if, we no okay so anyway um so yeah she made that song and she got a lot of backlash um as she should she deserved everything that those people were saying about her because she was trash that song was some bullshit. There's no reason you need to keep put. That's already that's already being pushed. It's already being thrown in black people's face. We see it all the time. You turn on the TV, you look at watch the music videos, open a magazine. That's all you see. That's all you see. And it's just like, girl, you're not even that cute. And this is a second, this is why I blame the, the man, secondly, because y'all sit here and y'all gas these females heads up these light-skinned girls heads up and make it feel like they the shit just because of their complexion that's stupid and then you have these beautiful brown and dark-skinned girls that you know they don't get the t attention they deserve because you know everybody's focused on the light-skinned girl and you know light bright damn near white you know that's the saying but um yeah danny lay needs somebody needs to punch her ass in the face for making that trash ass song and i know people know colorism is an issue but i don't think i don't think it gets the attention it deserves and i don't think anything's being done about it um because if it were we wouldn't it wouldn't still be as much of an issue as what it is um i just remember when i was younger growing up I was never taught that, you know, my skin was my skin tone was better just because I'm lighter. I guess I would be considered a red bone in the black community. But I was never like like my mama never was like, Oh, you know, you have an advantage because your skin is lighter or no, it was just, you know, you're black and just be proud to be black and that's what it is. So I didn't grow up with, with this mentality that a lot of these light skinned girls have, like they're better than everybody else because they're light skinned. And, you know, if I see 
a gorgeous dark skin girl, brown skin girl, and she's standing beside, you know, a, a mediocre light skin girl, I would be like, the dark skin girl looks better. But you got a lot of people that would choose a light skin girl just because she's light skin. That's not right. So. And then you'll see stupid shit on social media that'll, you know, be catering to that whole idea. It's just, oh God. It's just sad. It's just so much division within the black community. And I just feel like nobody's doing enough about it. It's not being talked about enough. And I don't know. And then, of course, the baby, as a dark skinned man, was defending his light skin. Well, she's not light skin because she's Hispanic. Was defending his Hispanic girlfriend when he should have he should have checked her on that because a lot of people were saying that she that was a diss song to his uh baby mama, his ex, who is gorgeous by the way, beautiful um brown skinned woman. I think she has two kids with the baby. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, she's gorgeous and she looks way better than uh, Danny Lee. Way better. So a lot of people were saying that's a diss song to her. I don't know why she felt the need to diss her. I mean, if her and the baby are happy or whatever, why is she dissing this other woman? But um, yeah, so people were saying that was a diss song to her because uh, Danny Lee's light skin and the baby's uh, baby mama is brown skin. So he should have checked. He definitely should have checked her on that, and that's that's why I said the men are part of the problem too, because they let these light skinned girls get away with shit like that, and they'll back them up, like, oh yeah, she a red bone, you know, she bad and this and this and that, and she, her hair is pretty and oh gosh, we got a lot of work to do in the black community. We really do. I really, I really hope like in the future. It'll be more equality, especially in the media, because I don't feel like there's enough representation for uh, brown and dark skin. I mean, yeah, brown and dark skin girls. They don't get enough representation in the media. They don't get enough representation in the magazine, just period. Just in society, period. They don't get enough representation. And it's not fair. And I don't feel like just because you have lighter skin, you're better. You're not better than nobody. And you're not pretty just because you're light skin. I hate when I see females that think, and they can be ugly and as fuck, skin all beat up, talking about they the shit because they light skin and teen red bone and all this stupid shit. <sighs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just really wanted to address that because it's a it's an issue that we face every day in the black community, and I feel like. It's not enough light skinned people or well, light skinned women, especially because, you know, we tend to be uplifted. It's not enough of us speaking out on it. You know, if anything, a lot of light skinned girls are probably eating it up. Are like, oh, yeah, you know, we are the shit and we are the baddest. And, you know, the dark skinned girls just kind of get left out in the cold. So, but then what I find funny is. People will like down dark skinned girls, but then uplift dark skinned men. Like, oh, dark skinned men are so so sexy. They're so chocolate. They're so, you know, masculine and sexy. But then we have the dark skinned girls being told that if they are pretty, oh, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl. What? Why don't they just show the same respect as the dark skinned men though? And then you got you got people out here refusing to get with dark skinned women just because they don't want dark skinned babies. Like, um, oh, what's his name? That rapper. Um, oh, I can't remember his name, but he got on he was doing an interview on Vlad TV and the 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 dude asked him, um, I think he was like, Well, like what type of girls do you like or something like that? What? I don't remember his name, but he was just like, cause he is real. He's very, very dark skin, but he was just like, he wouldn't get with a dark skin girl because he, he don't want no black babies or something like that. And I just broke my heart. Cause I'm just like, yes, my boyfriend is light skin. So when we have babies, obviously they'll be light skin because that's what we look like. But 
I didn't get, get with him just for that reason. I got with him because I love him. And you got really got people out here just, you know, purposely avoiding getting with people with a certain skin tone because they don't want their babies to be of a darker complexion. And that's not right. So, yeah, we just have a lot of work to do um, in the black community. It's a lot of division. And like I said, the media is partly to blame. And I blame the men, too. And I blame those females that don't see a problem. Because a lot of females, they, I guarantee you, they watched that Danny Lay video. And they didn't see nothing wrong with what she said. So they part of the part of the problem too. But um yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video there because it's already getting kinda long. But um hope y'all enjoyed it and let me know if y'all agree with what I'm saying. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.